What are some, I, you had mentioning, you know, a lot of highlights uh, going through the Kickapoo Rail Trail, but what are some key features that you want to, you know, I think it's important to point out for people interested in the rail trail? Sure. And let me start by saying I'm excited to see what comes of the areas that are about to be developed into rail trail that we haven't really gotten to see yet. Um, but currently there are two things that stick out to me as far as features of the rail trail. First, there are the natural ecosystems. I've already touched on that um, quite a bit, but it's very neat to go out on the rail trail, especially this time of year in, say, July or August, uh, when everything starts to get into bloom. And you can see what sort of vegetation would have been here had we not implemented uh, so many acres of agriculture in the surrounding area. Um, the other key interest points to me um, so far in development are the bridges. The bridges are super cool. So we have the bridge over the Salt Fork River near St. Joseph, um, sandy bottom, crystal clear water. You can go out there, look over the bridge. There are always fish and turtles swimming around. It's such a cool place to just go stand for a little while, take a break from cycling or running or whatever you're doing, um, and take in just the natural beauty of the river area. And then over in Vermilion County, over the Middle Fork River, which is actually the only national scenic river in Illinois, um, there's a trestle bridge that's 90 feet above the water. And so you're up over the top of these massive oak trees and whatnot, and over the river you can see these riffles and rapids and, and currents, and it's just it's an amazing, awe-inspiring area to take in. Um, I would recommend to anybody that they go over that, even if they aren't into hiking and walking and cycling, take a couple of hours, drive over to Million County and check out that bridge. It's amazing. 